So yeah, those are my thoughts. It doesn't matter if it breaks, I don't like it anyways. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Leslie. Today's video, if you guys don't know by the title, we are going to be doing the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus unboxing. This is what it looks like. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So you guys can see I've already put on my eyebrows, foundation, and concealer. And the other stuff in here we can use on the face. There is one product that I'm not going to try out for you guys but the rest of the stuff we're gonna use. So let's go ahead and get started here. You guys haven't seen it, this is what the box looks like. And then it opens, and then it just says, don't be pretty like them, be pretty like you. Yay. And then you just open it up and there's the items in there. And then this month, the theme, find your light. September's all about new pads and possibilities. So whether it's going all out with a bold lip shade or masking at home to recharge from within, take a moment to rediscover your guiding North Star. Where will it lead you? Discover yourself. Nice. And then there's some info in the back. Looks like there's going to be some new stuff going on with the box. It says, your Glam Bag Plus just got better. Starting with your October Glam Bag Plus, enjoy these new features. New, choose a product every month. Beginning on September 24th, you'll be able to choose one of your five Glam Plus products. Then we'll build the rest of your bag to complement your choice. Save the date, nice. So that'll be cool. You can pick one of your items kind of like boxy charm does that with the boxy lux i think right another thing it says new glam bag you asked we listened we've heard our glam bag plus members have been missing the actual glam bag well guess what it's back and you're gonna love it it's the if you guys ever got the ipsy glam bag just the little bags little baggies that came like the ten dollar subscription that's what they're talking about i'm guessing that they're gonna send you a bag now with these glam bag plus which is okay i mean the bags are really cute but you just get them every month so you kind of accumulate a lot of them some of them i kept and some of them i gave them away because i had too many and i had nowhere to put them <laughs> And then, let's see, pick up to five add-ons. You'll now have access to more samples and full-size products from 100 plus brands at unbeatable prices. Glam Bag Plus, not enough. If you want even more epic beauty experience, check out our new Glam Bag Ultimate. Oh yeah, I saw that on the website. So it's a new box. It's their deluxe ultimate whatever. And I think it's like $50 or something. And it's bigger and it has like more products. I haven't really read into it, but I don't think I'm gonna get that. I'm just gonna stick with this one. Cause I already get the Boxy Lux every three months and get a Boxy Charm anyways every month. And then this one, so I think it's gonna be a little too much. So I'm just gonna keep it to this box with Ipsy and then just keep doing my Boxy Charm like I do. And then, of course, every three months, I'll get that Boxy Lux. And if you guys haven't checked out my Boxy Lux from this month, I'll link it down below so that you guys can go watch that if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started with the products in the box. So this is the product that I was talking about that I don't think... Well, obviously, I'm not going to use it because I have foundation on and everything. But this is the product that I was talking about. This is the Apto Skin Care antioxidant mask with pomegranate I think like a few boxes back i did try the other one that they sent me if i remember which video it's from i'll link that one down below too if you guys want to see how this works have you guys take a look at the box it's actually a pretty cool looking box and then of course you open it and there it is Okay, and it says, backed by top estheticians, Apto removes fluff and filler to create clean skin formulas. Like this soothing, antioxidant-rich mask, a celiac acid gently removes dead skin cells while pomegranate and green tea help calm inflammation and restore balance. Tip, in need of a post-sun repair, apply a thin layer to overexposed skin and let it sit for 10 minutes. Before it dries down, gently rinse and follow with a moisturizer. 
organizer. That's kind of cool. So that's what that one looks like. I have the one from last time here so I can show you guys. This is the turmeric one. But yeah, they look exactly the same. You guys can see that. <laughs> one's pomegranate and one's turmeric. The one that we got this month is this one. And the one we got like a few boxes back is this one. I've used it a couple of times. Not that many, but I've heard that turmeric is actually really good for your skin. Oh, and I forgot to tell you how much this other one is for. So this one is a value of $36. But anyways, that is what we got for the product that I told you guys I wasn't going to use. And then we are going to move on to the next thing. Next thing in the box is this Yate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. Now that the weather is changing, of course, I don't powder so much just because my skin gets really dry. And the ultimate test for me when it comes to powders is underneath my eyes and around my nose. And that's how I know if I like it or not. If it starts to get cakey under there, I don't like it because it just looks bad and it breaks apart throughout the day so I don't like how that looks and this one it says this ultra blendable translucent powder from formula driven innovators Ciate London is a finely milled magic it glides over makeup for a crease free soft focus finish and locks your look in all day which is truly extraordinary tip to bake and set areas with concealer pack on a generous amount of this translucent powder over your concealer and leave on for three to five minutes before sweeping off the excess so I don't do that because I don't like to have so much powder on my face like I just said so we are going to just grab a little bit it comes with a little plastic thing so nothing comes out always make sure that your products are concealed because if they're open that's kind of a no-no for me so what I'm gonna do is just gonna grab and go like that you guys can see the powder is in there I'm just gonna grab a little bit with my sponge this is the real techniques complexion sponge and then you guys see how that's there i like to go on the back of my hand pull out the access because i don't like to have a lot like i said on my face and then i'll go in and set that it's not that bad let me actually set this first before we go in there okay now i'm gonna go in there with the powder and i barely get any and just set that on there and also on my lid since we're gonna be doing eyeshadow so that it doesn't crease before i do that i'm just gonna go on the other side that doesn't have anything and just blend it out because my concealer got a little creased on there and then i'll go in with the powder side and just set that lid and I'll do the same thing here. Just make sure that the creases are gone. And then grab a little bit of powder and set the eye. So then with whatever I have left on my sponge and in the back of my hand, tapping it out and then going into my face. And I'm not like hitting hard. I'm just kind of like bouncing it off. I'll go back to my hand and whatever I have on there. And then back again with just go on my forehead in between my brows so that is the powder and it doesn't look bad at all actually I don't know if I like it more than the Becca hydro mist powder that we got from our boxy charm last month but it is really pretty and it's not cakey right now <laughs> but I don't know how it's gonna look later, but for now it looks good. So we'll move on to the next item in the box, and that is this little palette, the Ofra, uh, I think it's a collaboration, her name is Madison Miller. It's a midi palette Miller squad. So let's go ahead and open that one up. And I don't know if it has a contour or like a bronzer in here, but we'll find out. It's really cute. That's what it looks like. And it has a mirror. And then these are the shades. Really pretty. They are really pretty. That blush is pretty. So we don't have a bronzer in here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that first before we do anything else. Just so that I have most of my face done. Alright guys, so I have put bronzer on my face. And now we're gonna go in with blush from this palette here that we got. And it's this pretty one here in the middle. The other two are highlighters. Hopefully it'll show up on my face. It is a pretty color. Hmm. Do you guys even see that? Maybe I need a different brush. Let's try it with this one. Do you need to scrape it or something? Because nothing's coming on to the brush. There we go. Something came on. Oh. I 
don't really like how it looks on me. Maybe because I'm so used to using orange or like corally blushes, but I don't think I like how this looks. What do you guys think? It might look cute on camera, but I don't think I like it in person. Alright, here, I'm gonna swatch it for you guys real quick on my hand. You guys can see what it looks like. It's alright, not really my shade. I don't think, I don't like how it looks. But that's just color preference. I'm not saying that the formula is bad. It kind of took a bit for me to actually get it. I had to like scrape off a little bit for it to come off. Let's try the highlighters on here. Let me swatch those for you guys real quick. So that's what those look like. This one and this one. I'll probably use this one. This one's kind of icy for me. I don't know if I like how that one's going to look. Like this one has a pink undertone to it. And this one's more like, it has some pink, but more peachy pink, this one. So I'm gonna use that one, we'll see. That one is this one right here in the corner of this one. So I'm gonna do that one, just grabbing my fan brush here. And I don't like it. It's so white, like icy. I think it's because of my skin tone too. I feel like these shades are not for me. Like not the blush or the... Oh. I mean it's intense, yeah, but not the color for me. I don't enjoy this palette at all. Alright, well, let's see if I can take some of that excess off. I'm gonna grab a big brush here. Maybe once I spray my face or something and everything melts together, but I'm not liking it right now. And usually I do like over highlighters, but I like more of the golden ones than I do the icy ones. I feel like they don't really look good on me. I spray my face like I usually do and see if that makes a difference. Just let that sit and dry for a bit. It melted in a little bit better when I blended it in with the brush. It looked better. But before I felt like it was just sitting on top so I didn't even like how that looked. It looks okay. It's still not my favorite so meh. Give you my thoughts at the end of the video though. So this one says Over Cosmetics Times Madison Miller Squad Palette is what it's called. Multitaskers rejoice with this three piece palette collab from Over Cosmetics and content creator Madison Miller. It's all about that to go glow. Highly pigmented and cinch to blend. This rosy combo of blush and highlighter creates a lit from within look with mere minutes. Tip, make the most of your palette by dipping a wet brush into pigments used as eyeshadow. Okay, I can see that, like the highlighters. Those would be pretty. And even the pink one you can use as an eyeshadow. But I probably will not. It's not my... Well, we'll talk about it at the end, like I said. And it retails for $35. Next, we're going to move on to this. This is the Nomad Cosmetics Berlin Underground Intense Eyeshadow Palette. It says, inspired by Berlin's rebellious 90s counterculture, this 15-shade palette features metallic matte and duochrome hues like distressed black, burnt orange, and snake skin green. Hemp seed oil nourishes lids with a buttery soft, fit, soft feel and serious color payoff. Tip, use the shadows dry for subtle shading and everyday looks or wet for dramatic high impact shimmer. Nice, I love how this looks. I've only used one single like little shadow from Nomad before. I mean, I think I got it in an Ipsy actually now that we're talking about it, but look at how cute this packaging is. It's really like rock and roll, like punk rock. <laughs> it looks really cool. So that's the Uniparton, and then in the back it has the shades and the shade names. It tells you about the palette, intense eyeshadows formulated with extra fine pigments for a fierce color payoff, infused with hemp seed oil to help energize and nourish skin. 15 alternative shades inspired by rebellious underground culture of Berlin before and after the wall. And then here it says Destination Berlin coordinates. 
Sud Sados 36. I don't know. Can't read that word. And then it says Inspiration Underground. For 28 years, a subculture of resistance and opposition grew in a city divided. Politics, art, and music all intersected for the rebellious youth fighting against the establishment. For not presidents, prime ministers, nor monarchs could make the difference in the end it was from humanity that the wall was built and the wall came down and it is a cruelty free and vegan palette also free of parabens something i can't say that word Plath plathlates that and mineral oil this looks freaking awesome i love the print on them i don't even want to touch them because it looks so cool let me show you guys it has like little skulls on it it looks so freaking cool Let's go ahead and play with this. I don't even know which one I want to use because they all look so cool. Okay, let's swatch a couple of them, I guess. Let's swatch this one. I don't know it's calling out my name, but it looks really pretty. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. It's kind of sad that the print is going to go away because it looks so cool. That shade. Oh, that shade is pretty look at that it has like the little green undertone that's this shade right here this one so pretty maybe we'll do greens and that's another green oh my god love it oh look at those shades they're so pretty you can definitely come up with look here i think i do want to use those greens what do you guys think greens i do like greens but i also like this purple right here Oh my gosh, look at that. It's a purpley brown, that one. There's another brown one. Ooh, that one, look at how cool that looks. Oh my God, I wanna use all of them. Okay, let's go. I think I'm gonna go with the greens. Just this color right here, <sighs> amazing. It looks so beautiful. I'm excited for this. Let's get started on this look. I think I know what I want to do. I'm going to take my bangs out of the way first so that I can concentrate on my eyeballs. There we go. Let's go ahead and start. Just going to grab a fluffy brush here. I'm going to use this Morphe M573 brush. And I'm going to start with the shade Orion and Strabby. I don't know. This brown one right here. We're gonna start with that shade first. And let me get a little bit closer and then zoom in on the eye a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. And you guys know that I like to bring my shadow higher than my crease so you could actually see the colors. I bring it like as close as I can to my, my brow bone. And I am going to bring it all the way in here and then just blend it out. I blend it really nicely. I like that. I wish there was just one lighter color than that, but I don't really have anything, so it's fine. We'll keep it how it is. And I'm going to go in with the shade MDW, which is this shade right here. I'm bringing it up to that brown shade that we used. And just on the outer V, trying to slowly bring it to the center of the lid. It kind of looks like it's shimmery, but it's actually matte. Well, it has a little like sheen to it, but the color is not very vibrant that you can see like the shimmer unless you build it up that way i think like if you were to wet it you probably could see that it's a little shimmery it doesn't look bad and then just blending 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 there's no get a blend 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 I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that brown shade and just bring it here and blend that shade out a little bit more I'm doing more of a circular kind of shape for today's look than a winged out. So that's why I'm going around here on the outer edge. Make sure I blend that how I want it. Now that that shade is blended, I'm going to go in with my finger and use this shade here, the SO36. Oops, it's this one right here. And I'm going to just 
put that in the center. That is so pretty. Oh my god, I love that color. I'm going over the other shade, just like the edge of it. That is such a pretty shade. Oh my god. Going back in again with the Morphe E22 brush, grabbing that NDW shade, this one. And just gonna build up that color a little bit more. There, there we go. And now we're gonna go into this shade Rootsburg. Sorry if I'm butchering that. But this shade right here, that really pretty shade that I was really wanting to use. So excited. We're going to try with a brush because I just want to see how it performs with a brush. Uh, and it performs perfectly. Oh my god. Look at that shade. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. So pretty and vibrant. I love it. That is such a pretty green. Oh my god. I love that. All right. With the same brush, this is the Juvia's Place JP005 Small Buffer Brush. I'm gonna go and grab that shade again, SO36, the one right next to the shade we just used, this one, and put that in the center again. That is such a pretty shade. Oh my god. All right, I'm really impressed with this palette. I mean, from the shades that I used, at least. I'm sure that the other colors are just as good i hope they look pretty vibrant we'll uh swatch some of them on my hand so you guys can see oh my god that is so pretty i freaking love that that is so beautiful what? look how vibrant that color is like the inner corner color oh it's so pretty i love that i like using green i don't use it a lot i don't think i've filmed a lot of colors with green in my videos but i do like using green we're gonna use a smaller brush this is just a morphe brush i don't know what number this is it's just a small brush and i'm gonna bring that shade ndw to the bottom lash line and then i'm just gonna use that big fluffy brush that i used for the transition shade which is this one that I couldn't stay. I'm just gonna dab one time in there and then tap out the axis and go underneath that to blend it out. All right, pretty, so pretty. I'm gonna go off camera, do the other eye and put some mascara on eyeliner and then I'll be right back and then we'll finish off the look. Okie dokie, so I'm back with the other eye done and some liner and I also put lashes on and that is what the eye look is. I do want to quickly swatch some shades here for you guys so you guys can see. This one is called East Side Gallery. This one's called Love Parade. This one is called Poor But Sexy. This one's called Helden. Let's do Chaos each. So those are some of the other shades in the palette. They are very pretty. I'm so excited. Look at that blue. Like silver blue. And there's like a blue undertone to it. Really pretty. The purple. This is like a mustardy gold, I guess you would say. Like orange gold. And this is more like a yellow gold so pretty and I don't know if you guys can see chaos stage there it's kind of hard to see a little bit but that's chaos stage okay so now that we have that one swatched I tell you guys it this retails for $37 just in case I didn't tell you but yes that is the palette here those are the shades that's super cool and last but not least the last item in the box is this this is the Ella Mosqua anti-matter lipstick in solar it says this beloved Brit purveyors of cruelty free beauty know a thing or two about going bold for example this non-drying lipstick is a vibrant poppy coral swipes on with an immediate color payoff it's vitamin E infused formula conditions lips for a creamy application tip for a flawless application exfoliate lips gently rub in a bit of balm and apply lipstick straight from the bullet okay 
the packaging is beautiful i do like that i have tried a couple of things from ella mosca before this is what the lipstick looks like really pretty and sleek looking and it is plastic so it's not like heavy or anything but the packaging is still really pretty i do like it and that's the shade and the shade is called solar i think it already said that but and obviously none of this goes together because the pink blush does not go with this eye look i definitely would never pair those two together or the highlight i wouldn't pair with the highlight but just for the sake of the video of trying everything out we're gonna put this on and i'm not putting any lip liner or anything on i'm just gonna go and put in the put the lipstick on oh yeah that's right holy cow that's bright it does not at all go with this look it does glide on pretty nicely it's really opaque and really bright as you guys can see definitely a summer color <laughs> i mean you can wear whatever you want whenever you want but just saying if you're trying to pair something for summer or whatever this would be one of those shades and that lipstick retails for 27 dollars that is a lot for a lipstick i'm gonna go through everything with you guys to see what i liked what i didn't like what I think of each product. What do you guys think of each product? Any of the products work for you guys? What did you guys think if you guys get the Ipsy? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and just take a quick look here and see how everything looks. Checking out the powder. My eyes are just teary so I'm cleaning that up. Checking out the powder, the eyeshadow, the blush, the highlight, the lipstick. All right, let's go ahead and go through this product real quick here. So the first thing I talked about was the mask. Obviously, I'm not gonna have really a review for you guys because I haven't used this one before. Like I said, I have used the other one that they sent to me a couple of times and I do like that one. I'm hoping that this would be the same way and I would like how it works. I probably will give this away since I already have one. Yeah, I haven't opened it or anything, so I'll probably give it away or something like that. From my experience with other products from this brand, I do like how it works. Works, but I'm not saying necessarily this one is gonna work out. I'm just saying other stuff has worked for me So that is that on this product and this one like I said again retails for $36 Those are my thoughts on that next up is the Powder which is this one here the Ciate London. I have tried a few things from Ciate London before and the products that I do have, I do like. The powder so far is looking fine. It actually didn't look as cakey like I thought it was going to look. Especially now that, like I said, the time is changing and it's just drier. So my skin is drier. But I did enjoy it. This is something I probably have to use a couple more times. For the first time, I did really like how it looks. I don't feel like it looks bad at all. And this does retail for $22, which is cheaper actually from the Becca one, I believe. I can't remember how much the Becca one is. The only thing about this is... I don't know if it has like a back flash so when you take pictures and stuff like that because it's so white you guys can see that it's like really really like white white powder so that's the only thing I don't know about that is my thought on this product for now next up is the Ofra cosmetics and Madison Miller squad palette this I didn't really like all that much the highlight is okay I felt like it kind of worked out after I blended everything in and put the setting spray on and all that. But before that, I felt like the product was just sitting on my skin and wasn't even melted into my skin. So I did not like that. The blush, I had to scrape off a little bit. If you guys can see that right there, I had to scrape off a little bit for it to actually work. Which is kind of disappointing because I do like Ofra products. But I didn't like this little quad or whatever you want to call it, trio of stuff. These are not shades that I would would gravitate to use i'm more of a corally blush kind of girl and then if i do use pinks not this kind of pink it kind of feel like i look pale i don't like how it looks at all so this one is a pass for me i did not like this one that's my thoughts on that one and that retails for 35 dollars next step is the eyeshadow palette this one right here I really actually like this a lot. Last time that I got a Nomad product, it was a little like single shadow and I didn't like it because it was one little shadow and it retailed for like $15 or something like that. 
and it was I think it was like a gunmetal I think it was the name of it so kind of like for smoky eye I did a smoky eye on it and I could definitely do other shadows that are a lot cheaper than $15 for a single eyeshadow so that's why I gave it a bad review last time and I didn't even like how it blended out I don't know this was a while back so maybe they don't even make that anymore or anything or they've improved their quality but this one I really did like this palette it's really pretty I like the theme to it and like little skull like punk skulls on it it's so cool the shadows blended really nicely everything went on really pretty did give me a hard time it was easy to use so I did like that the only thing that I wish it had was a lighter transition shade other than there's this brown because if you look closely at the other shades they kind of have some shimmer to them so that's the only thing that I wish it had maybe another matte but other than that I really did like it everything blended out really nicely so that was nice this retails for $37, so you're getting 15 shades for $37. It's a lot better than getting just one little eyeshadow for like 15 bucks. They are really pretty. I like the theme of this, the whole palette. Even the Unicarton is really cool. I don't even want to throw it away. I want to put it back in there because it looks so cool. But anyways, um, I did really like this. So this is a kit for me. Definitely will be keeping this and be using it more. Let me know if you guys want to see any looks with that palette or any colors that you're interested in, any color story that you guys want to see be used with that palette. But now moving on to the next and the last product in the box is the Ilamasqua lipstick. This is a value of $27. It feels nice. It doesn't feel drying or anything like that. The packaging is pretty. This color I would not obviously pair with this eye look. It was just because I wanted to show you guys how it went on. But I probably... I don't know. Can't decide if I like it or not. $27 is kind of a lot for a lipstick. You can get like liquid lipsticks and regular lip V sticks from ColourPop for like $8 that are similar to this shade. I actually think I have like a lip cream from BH Cosmetics that was a lot cheaper and it's about the same shade. Let me see if I can find it. So it is this one right here from BH Cosmetics. This is their Cashmere Cream Lipsticks. These are really nice and creamy. This this one's a little bit more drying than that one but look at the similarity in those shades and this one is definitely a lot cheaper than this one if I was to buy it myself I probably wouldn't buy a $27 lipstick that I can find somewhere else and it's a little bit more creamier and it is a little bit brighter so this is a little bit toned down than this one but it gives you the same effect those are my thoughts so the things that I did like from the box that I'll definitely keep using are these two is the powder and the eyeshadow palette and the things that are more of a pass for me are mostly this thing this thing is not like I could use the lipstick because I don't mind it but this I did not like at all I don't think it worked for me the shades don't work for me and I didn't like that I had to scrape that blush hair to get it to work so Ofra is nice but I don't like this at all so those are my thoughts on everything that we got on the ipsy glam back plus if you like anything from there don't forget to check out ipsy i'll leave the link down below so that you guys can go check that out get subscribed if you guys want to do that I'll link all the products down below too so you guys can go check them out if there's something that you guys like that you guys want to try don't forget to comment like and subscribe we'll see you in the next one toodles And it's a wrap, yo!